Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Trending, oops, nope, Afternoon Market Action. Uh, my name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and it's also Western Wednesday. If you can hear me, by all means, please respond in the affirmative, preferably with VV Nation to let me know that I am coming across loud and clear, and I am trying to get hashtag uh, Western Wednesday VV going going viral so there we go got my cowboy hat on today i took the theme of like a a texas senator yeah like a texas senator so um western wednesday i got the pics up on social media for you i think i need to put it up on youtube though um if i haven't i probably will but it's up on uh facebook it's up on twitter it's up on Instagram. I probably need to do it for YouTube, though. Uh, what's with the uniform? Your own uniform, again, today is Western Wednesday. So I dressed up, put on a shirt and tie, put on my cowboy hat, got my cowboy boots on, and uh, that's what I got going on. I know I had a bolo tie on last week, Paul. I think we're going to go buy one. Uh, I, the one that I had was my father-in-law's. I think I'm going to, today I'm thinking about going to a local um western shop today to pick up some gear so all right so you notice you notice that it's messing up the picture in the background so i just wanted to put it on for the beginning for western wednesday and now i'm just still in my shirt and tie all right um let's talk about what's going on a lot of stuff going on in the market interesting as i look at the market i did a video a couple of days ago that said prepare for disaster uh, with everything that's going on in the market, uh, the Fed is being more hawkish. A lot of things. Watch the video. I have Joey Ken. He'll put the link up for the most recent video that I've done called Preparing or Prepare for Disaster. And the first thing I see is that we finally have ourselves a primary wave down. A lot of yellow. The As you can see in the guidance, the guidance says VectorVest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. All of the major indices are down. The NASDAQ leading the charge to the downside, down over 1.5%. Uh, the S&P 100 is down over 1%. Our composite is down about a percent. So uh, in Arizona, the BS is on the outside of the boots. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, where is the cow? I got the... You really want to see the cowboy boots? All right. There's the cowboy boots. You want to see the cowboy boots? There's the cowboy boots. I can't believe you wouldn't take me at my word, Francisco. I can't believe you wouldn't take me at my word that I had cowboy boots on. All right, but I have them on. <laughs> but I have them on. I No, I'm not sad, Kenneth, not at all. I'm not sad at all. All right, so next thing before we get rocking and rolling, looks like we've got 213 people. You know me. I like to get the word out to as many people as we can on our live streams. I need you guys to share the link right now, this live stream link right now, share it in your social circles. Let's see if we can get to 300 people here today. Let's make it rock and roll. Because are we doomed at this point? And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I want you guys to be prepared. The first signal you'll see in the vector vest system is having a primary wave down. We have that so far. It hasn't closed that way though. We'll see where we close by the end of the day. The primary wave, 5913. I think it stands a good chance that we're going to that we are going to stay with a primary wave down going into this evening. And then let's low see if we've got some follow through going into tomorrow. Now, the thing about that is, why did I make the video preparing for disaster? Here's the vector vest composite shown on a, a three month graph, big down day to day. All right. Uh, but we shouldn't have been. How many of you felt that this was a surprise to you? Type of one. How many of you were expecting this to happen? Type of two. How many of you thought that this was a surprise to you? Type of one. If you expected this to happen, type of two as a vector vest subscriber. You should have been prepared. Why? Because the MTI was letting us know, the MTI was letting us know that the market was overbought. And every time we get to that level, we do pull back. We do get pulled back. So for anyone who's typing a one as a vector vest subscriber, we've been keeping you on alert to let you know that this was probably going to happen. Now, 
The other side of the coin is how deep is this going to be? I haven't the slightest of an idea. The bulls are still trying to push the market higher. I'm looking at the 388, even though we have a down day and a primary wave that's probably going to close as a primary wave. The 388 are still in play. Notice the last time we got to that level of being overbought by way of our MTI. The 388 never failed, even though we pulled back. Will that happen again? All right, I like that. Drew says, ride a cowboy, say, ride a. Save a horse right you said this you said the words backwards i'm like that's not how the words go you said the words backwards but it still comes out the same way all right you've been saying that the mti is toppy says jim and you know again we never try to scare anybody we never try to do any of that kind of stuff we want you guys to be prepared thus the reason why i want you to share this link with people out there because i want to get out to everybody we can to always have them on the right side of the market so from a market timing perspective this wasn't anything that was a surprise now the other side of it is i mentioned is how deep does this go i don't know why is this happening how many of you saw and i posted i posted a link on uh twitter when the fed was talking it was either yesterday or the day before he had a conference and he he was open about a lot of things and one of the things he said is that the housing market and the service sector are the two things that's, you know, propping up the market. And he did say, and no matter how anybody feels that he's being dovish, he said that at any point in time, especially because of the jobs market, he's going to continue to raise interest rates and may step back up from a quarter basis point back up to 50 basis point, possibly even back up to 75 basis points. He didn't put those numbers out, but he did make sure to let everybody know that he is still in tune to raising interest rates and it could be higher than what they are right now. Uh, there's a popular country song, but I know, Drew, I know the song, but it's the other way around. It's save a horse, ride a cowboy. That's the way the words go. It's that's the way the words go. Hey, good afternoon, John. Glad to see you here, my friend. All right. So with all of that being said, again, nobody should have been blindsided or caught off guard. What do you do right now? I'm not telling anybody to panic sell, especially because the three and are still in play. I will tell you, you should have been, while the MTI was looking high, you should have been tightening stops. That's all I got to say. Jerome is going to make you cry if you're long in this market. I don't disagree. And I've been saying um, that I think that we have more downside in the market than we have upside. Uh, I think that the exuberance in the market is not justified. There's too many things too many factors that still will push the market lower. Uh, but I'm not going to ever tell you not to take advantage of the market when the market's giving you an opportunity to buy. If it's doing that, take the opportunity, go buy your stocks. But I'm telling you, just be careful. All right? Is Fed Governor Glenn saying Powell has to go up 100 basis? I would love to see him go up 100 basis points. Get to your terminal rate and go from there. And then maybe pause. And then maybe pause. You'll be at terminal rate and you know it takes time for those things to fall into play. Just do it. Just be like Nike. Just do it. Just get to your terminal rate. A lot of people think it's going to be more or higher than 5%. They think more like 6 or 7%. Just get to like that 5% then pause and let the market go. All right. So um, this, is, this is what I think. This is what I think. Um, but the market is showing me that by way of the vector vest composite as well. All right, let's go see what news is moving the market. Let's go here. Fed uh, Jerome Powell braces for longer inflation fight amid hiring surge. Process of lowering inflation to the goal of 2% is likely to take quite a bit of time. So for anybody out there who's saying that this is dovish, that he's being dovish, no matter if he raises them a quarter basis point or 50 basis points, he's still raising interest rates. That's not good for an economy. All right. Wall of worry. And Steve did a beautiful uh, special presentation this week talking about climbing the wall of worry. Folks, we've got so much stuff on our YouTube channel uh, to keep you informed of what's going on in the market. If you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel, you should be hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon. All right, so the rest of the articles I'm gonna go through pretty quickly. Uh, Google AI, this is hot topic right now. How many of you saw the video that was put out yesterday? Type of one, talking about the AI chatbot wars. All right, how many of you saw yesterday's video? Type of one in the room. It's a video that was timely with a hot topic, a hot, hot topic. If you have not watched it, folks, I invite 
every single one of you after this live stream is done to go visit that video. There's a lot of other companies, not a chat GPTs out on the scene. Everybody's hustling and scurrying to go up against it. So Google, uh, Google AI chatbot offers inaccurate information in company ad share slump. Now it's interesting how everybody's rushing to the table to go after the chat GPT, which is uh, owned by OpenAI, not a publicly traded company, but Microsoft has put $11 billion investment into it. Hot topic. So Google's running to the uh, running to the table. Alibaba prepares to take on ChatGPT. We trade. Uh, I's chat GTP style product plans to launch demo version. Folks, if you're not on board with that, I did a video last week on top of the video that I did yesterday. Um, I did a video last week, which gave you uh, other AI stocks to keep on your watch list. Someone says how to get to the video. If you go to the, let's do this real quick. Let's go to www.youtube.com. All right, we go to YouTube. All right, pull it up from here. Go search for right here, right here. Search for vector vest, V E C T O R V E S T. Search for VectorVest. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Once you get to the channel, once you get to the channel, let's go back one. Once you get to the channel, you can see all of our videos. There's yesterday's video is right up there and they pretty much go right in order. There's preparing for disaster uncovering. Look at that. All of it is right here for you. Swing tray. Uh, there's the AI video that was done a few days ago called AI investing, chat GTP, and top stocks to consider. Folks, there it is. That's how you get there. And if you are a subscriber to the channel, hit the bell icon, you will be alerted. But when I tell you that on our channel, we've got so much to offer to you guys to make sure that you're well-informed in the market. I ain't just whistling Dixie, folks. All right. Uh, Paul says, your daily videos are now part of my morning routine. Are the AI bots playing into the hands who collect everything? You know, Stephen, I don't understand. I'm not sure the question that you're asking, but uh, I in, in this video right here, I did say that I was eerily optimistic. I'm eerily optimistic because as you can see from the, um, the Google one, um, Watch for the watch for the uh, the information. Watch for the information. I think that it still has a long way to go to be fully, fully dependent upon. All right. Now, uh, EVs back in the back back in the news. Tesla Model Y to save police department eighty thousand dollars. Who wants to be run down by a Tesla? Who tell me? All right, tell me if that's not a sweet looking police car. Type of one if you think that's a sweet looking police car. If you don't think so, type of two. That is a sweet looking electric vehicle. Now, the bad side of it is how many of you would actually admit that you got ran down by an electric vehicle? Type a yes or a no in the room. How many? Hey, I got pulled over by the cops today, but it was an electric vehicle. I don't know. I don't know what the, what the connotation is on that. I needs better wheels. You know, if we could throw some slicks on there, that'd be nice. All right. But that's kind of a sweet looking car. All right. So with that being said, with that being said, neat SUVs, not in sedans. Well, they're out there as well. But you know something? I like this idea. Saving the police department $80,000 might not be a bad way to go. What else is in there? Volvo uh, plug-in car sales increased 31% in January. EVs are back in the space. Now, with that, how do you get, uh, what else is hot in that topic? How about this? Lithium. North America's largest lithium mine can now break ground. That's great news for EVs. Batteries, lithium. Watch these two industries that are on the rise once again. So we're looking at EVs are getting hot again. Lithium, I've done a video looking at commodities. Lithium was one of those as well. Um, how about this story? Bed Bath & Beyond almost going up. You know, I like Bed Bath & Beyond. I, I like Bed Bath & Beyond, but staves off bankruptcy with a $225 million from stock sale. Uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond has now come into the fray of being a meme stock, blah, 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 blah. But they're having a hard time paying their bills. Tesla top speed is 155 miles an hour. Is that what it is? You know, something that could probably go, if it's a police car, it could probably go faster than that. 
If it's a, if, you know, and Steven says better than a Yugo. How many of you remember the Yugo? That little itty bitty teeny weeny car. Good Gordon Jim. Police cars are kept running 100% of the time. So you know something, you know what you would have to do? Fitz, you would probably have to switch out cars. All right, the department would have to have enough cars to be able to switch out cars. All right, the three cylinder Yugo, that was that was a car. Zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. It's a fast moving car. It's a fast moving car. How about this? So I got a story from our website. Go to www.vectorvest.com. Go over to blogs, go down the hot stocks. Here's a stock that we put out for you. T-Mobile is sliding after mixed earnings and downgrade. Is it time to sell? So even if you are not a subscriber to the system, uh, to the channel, you can always go to our website and see what hot stocks we always got going on at any given time. And every day we try to put up a stock for you. So why is Apple up 4% after earnings myths? You know, and we give some insight. So we always give that information for you. The, no, it, actually, the Paul, the Yugo went from zero to 60 probably like my like my truck my excursion goes from zero to 60 in three days all right so but once once i'm gone you better not get in my way because i'm not stopping all right um before we get into the stocks and stuff how about we've got two other free webinars going on one of them is the three most effective strategies for managing your retirement portfolio we had jim on monday uh, I've got a, he's got a webcast tomorrow at February 9th at 4.30 and next Monday at February 13th uh, at 12 o'clock. Joey's going to put that link, I think, in the chat for you. Uh, you can click on it and help him out. I, it's a free webcast, especially for those of you who are managing retirement portfolios. You want to do it better. Uh, this webcast, free webcast, will walk you through. It's a 60-minute online workshop. The seven signs your portfolio will not be ready for retirement. Our top three growth and income strategies, how to protect against the next market collapse. All of these are so important for the people who are managing retirement portfolios. It's a free webcast. You go to that link that Joey put in there, put in your first name, last name, email, mobile number, and pick which webcast you want to go to. Jim is also doing the Options Jump Starter course, a beginner's guide to uh, profitable options. That starts next week, Wednesday, February 22nd at both 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. And Thursday, February 23rd at 4.30. Joey will put that link in there as well. For those of you who are brand new to options and want to learn more about options, this is a great free webcast to help you in that area. It's free and you can pick which day you want, uh, what the important terms are, the best place to uh, place, uh, the best time to place options trades, how to increase your profitability of success. And that's huge for a lot of people who are brand new to options, how to increase your probability of, ex uh, of success. And again, this is a free webcast and the five step option profit system. All right, so both of those I wanted to talk about because they are coming up. One is in play right now is free sessions and that's the portfolio, the retirement one. Next week, we're gonna be looking at options, all right? Now, how many of you have been to the Vector Vest store? Type of one in the room, all right? How many of you have been to our Vector Vest store to get some merchandise or at least look at some merchandise? Type of one in the room, all right? If you haven't, type a two. If you haven't, type a two. All right, so I've got something for you today. Uh, you go to our web store, you know, and you'll notice that if I go back, if you if I go back, save 15%, you know, because it's still new, save 15% on all products, all right? And this is what I'll do. Let me see if this will work. I'm gonna copy and paste that into the chat for you. For those people who haven't gone to our store to get some merch yet, there you are, all right? I got this last week, got my little water bottle. I got my uh, Vector Vest uh, coffee mug, my big coffee mug. I got a couple of other things as a swag bag as being part of education. All right, how many of you were looking for bacon and Cafe Bustelo in the Vector Vest store? Stop, John. All right, so now you notice that right here it says save 15% on all products. How many of you would like to save an extra 5% type of yes? How many of you would love to save 20% on all products in the store? 
type a yes, because I'm going to give you an opportunity to do so. I, sh I should know the, the answer should be yes, right? So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a promotion code. You want to save 20% on everything in the Vector Vest store. Use promotion code Glenn23. That's G L E N N, two N's, Glenn23. 23 use that as a promotional code and folks you will save an extra five percent on all of the products that we have in the store and if we go to the apparel and accessories i know this is outside of trending thursday but folks i'm excited about the store we got a lot of cool stuff in the store and if you use that promotion code folks you'll save an extra five percent but i think there's something for everybody in this store if you want to thank you you know Free shipping too. I don't know how the shipping goes at all. I think it's, I don't, I don't know. That's a good question, but I don't know how the shipping goes. I don't know. There's the water bottle that I have. There's the bigger cup I think that I have. All right. So there's something for both women and men in here. Merch made in the USA. I don't want to say yes and they're not. Uh, are there any cowboy hats in there? No, but there's a hat like that or a hat like that. Uh, it's even got the wrong Carolina blue on there. I need to, I need to, that's the right Carolina blue. That's the right Carolina blue. The, the wine tumbler, look at that. Look at that sexy shirt for your significant other. All right, so um, you get to save 20% if you use the code Glenn with two N's, Glenn23. Uh, the wine tumbler also works for coffee. Yeah, it sure does. All right, so I wanted to talk to you, give you opportunity. The first opportunity, this is the first opportunity I've had to give that code out. Glenn 23 gets you an extra 5% off of the merchandise in the Vector Vest store. All right, so we've looked at some news articles. We've looked at the market. Let's go look at what's going on in the market. All of the major indices are down. The VIX is up. It's still below the value of 20. So the VIX is the volatility on the S&P 500. Ah, a little bit more fear going into the market today. Nah, I want that, glad, that Glenn swag hat while I plan my next buy. You talk about this hat? You guys are looking for this hat? You know something? We might have to look at putting a cowboy hat on there because of Western Wednesday. I got to talk to the powers to be. I don't know. I'm guessing by steel straw that the travel tumbler might probably wouldn't be very fun with coffee. I don't know. I, I think it sounds like I think it sounds like it's good for coffee as well. Depends on what you put in it. Can uh, Vector Vest have a web beta version like a mobile app? We're working on that, Jim. I think uh, we're, and we're getting close. I don't know how close is close, but we are definitely working on it. It's a next, next big project that we're working on, Jim. All right. So I do know that that is something that we are working on. All right. So from here. Let's go to the stories that made the news. Let's go to the stories that made the news. And there's Tesla uh, with, the, with that speedy looking car, T-Mobile, uh, Google because of the chat GPT, lithium, the biggest lithium space that we have is now ready to break ground. Alibaba was going with the chat GPT as well and Bed Bath & Beyond. Notice that Bed Bath & Beyond, even though they're staving off uh, going out of business or bankruptcy, big move to the downside today. Bed Bath & Beyond is a tough stock to be in. No good upside potential. Safety is not there and it's moving down in price. Uh, I don't know what they do as a company to turn around and, and raise more money because that's what it looks like. They're going to have to continue to raise more money to pay their bills. So even with the sale of stock, I'm not sure I'm not sure that it's a good spot to be. And I like the store. Glenn, is Glenn energy drink available in the Vector Vest store? I can't, I can't drink an energy drink. I got heart issues. I drink an energy drink, might jump my heart right out of my chest. Now, Patrick likes Celsius, uh, ticker symbol C-E-L-H. Uh, he uses that for, for, and you know, he's on, on YouTube as well, uh, as well. So if you're gonna do an energy drink, Patrick does uh, like, S C E L H Celsius. U V X Y Max Pain has been 29 and 30 weeks. It's now 550. We should see downside in the market for the rest of the week. And, and, and Alamon, we're gonna see. We're gonna looks like we are gonna close with a primary wave down. And we're gonna see how deep this pullback is going to be. So 
Uh, Alamon, I need you to just keep your eye on the vector vest composite uh, as it pulls back, because you know it has been pulling back from the high here of two uh, of two two. All right, and pulling back, but the three knee eight are still in place. We've got a level of support of 57.54. We've got another level of support of 56.26. Let's see if these levels are hold or if we get deeper into a decline. All right, does that make sense to you, Alaman? I love the idea. I think that the market does have more downside, but we'll have to keep our eyes on it. And Alaman said, you said my name correct. I looked at the, at the accent where it was. Uh, on top of the A, so I'm I'm really I try very hard based upon how I see a name spelled to to say it correctly. Uh, Roger says the lithium mine is in the caldera of the old super volcano. Is that where it is? Are you mess with me, Roger? Is that where it is? Is that where it is? Uh, where are you on the site, when Stephen? What do you mean? Uh, where was I on the site? I went to the, you talking about the store? I went to the Vector Vest. I, I put the link. I think I put the link in there for you for the Vector Vest store. Glenn, repeat the support levels again. Um, Kenneth, right here on our Vector Vest composite, which is trading at 58.66. I've got a level of support at 57.54. And I've got a level of support of 56.26. I, it's true looking at their site right now. Oh, okay. Is that where it is? Thank you. I thought you was messing with me, Roger. I can't always tell. I can't always tell, but I like that. All right. All right. So keeping all of that in mind, um, if I'm looking at any of these stocks, which stocks are fundamentally sound? Tesla, no matter what everybody wants to say about Tesla, I did a video on Tesla. I still like Tesla strictly from the fundamentals. I need for Elon Musk to get himself away from Twitter and back putting his energies into Tesla. Tesla is a good company. Uh, it went down so much that it became undervalued, but then people said, hey, this stock's got some upside, putting the stock's price above the value, which means that people are just willing to pay a premium to own the stock. But the stock's got good upside potential. It's a safe stock. It's a buy recommendation. CI doesn't look all that good, but it does have an RT above one. Hey, Haas, glad to see you. Glenn, what's your take on Biden and what Biden said last night? VJ, I'm not getting into that. That's all political and that's not my deal here, man. I don't want to do the political thing here. There's too many other pages or um, sites on YouTube uh, that can do that or channels that can do that. I'm not going to do that here, VJ. That's, that's just my opinion. I got my own opinions on that, but I don't think that this is the platform for me to I uh, put that out there. Um, John says, thanks to VV, I ran low RT scan on NASDAQ 100. Uh, the do went long. It's been a huge winner for me. Thank you, VV. There you go. For only for anything, for anybody out there who's not a subscriber to VectorVest, we you know we do offer a trial for 99 cents. You can take it for 30 days. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but I love to see when uh, subscribers to the system talk to you guys. So hopefully sometime or another, you might take, you might, might take them up on it. T-Mobile <coughs> fundamentally sound. RT is below one Google fundamentally sound. What's hurting Google today is they put out their chat GPT to test it out and it came back they, it gave wrong information. So that's what's pushing it down. And I'm telling you that more and more and more and more companies are going to start pushing, going after that. That chat GPT, that open AI is so hot right now that we've got the videos out there ahead of that to get ahead of the curve so that you guys can get ahead of that. You need to go check out those videos. All right. So from the stocks that made the news, uh, which ones would I stay away from right now? I'm, I'm thinking about staying away from Alibaba, Bed Bath & Beyond. Not fundamentally there. Neither one of the companies are making money. If you look at uh, earnings, uh, well, let's go see. Alibaba is making money, but growing it at a ne negative clip. And Bed Bath & Beyond, man, as much as I love the store, they're not making money and they're growing it in a negative way. They're growing it in a negative way. So that makes me, I, you know, they, they've got to do something. It's more than just raising money. They've got to do something internally in the management of the company in order for this company to turn around. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Do you agree with that? It's more than just raising money to pay the bills. In my mind, it needs to show some semblance of they've got to do something internally 
to change the culture of the company uh, at this time. Until Bed Bath & Beyond adds cowboy hat shaping to their offering, I'm staying away. Wow. All righty then. More, Google more beta testing on that chat. Yes, they need a lot more testing on that. But I think that they were running to the table, Fitz, because uh, of the open AI. I think that it's causing all of these companies, whether it's Alibaba, whether it's Google, whether it's who, who else is Baidu is out there as well. It's making all of these companies run to the table faster without doing the beta testing fits. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right, so they need to slow down, but they feel that if they slow down, that Microsoft and open AI is going to beat them, is going to beat them. Peer pressure, not a good reason. Well, you know something, when it comes down to trying to make money and stay ahead of the curve, um, that, that's unfortunately what happens. Dr. Vic says, hi, Glenn. Hope all is well with you and your family. Do you have any good suggestions for some stocks that could be shorts? Many thanks for the good job. Uh, you know something? I like that. If you ain't first, you ain't, you're you last. That's somebody. What movie is that, Joey? Um, what, what movie is that? Um, gosh darn it. Um, somebody will put up the movie, but funny movie. Funny movie. I, I don't remember the name of the movie, but... Uh, Talladega Nights. Thank you, John. What's the best way to invest in chat GTP? Is open, uh, is open AI private? It is a private company. If so, then is it best to invest in Microsoft? Edward, um, chat, the only way to, to invest in the chat GPT right now, the closest thing is going to be Microsoft. But there's a lot of other AI stocks that are out there in the video that I talked about on our YouTube channel gives you a lot of AI stocks and in my most recent video, I gave you an ETF for the AI space, which is AIEQ. All right, so if, um, from that perspective, Edward, if you want to take advantage of the AI space, not specifically chat GPT, but of the AI space, I would suggest looking at AIEQ, AIEQ. I got you, Dr. Vic. We're going to look at some short ideas. We're going to look at some short ideas. All right. Uh, and Boston is here. Hi, Boston. Boston said it was, I forgot it was Talladega Nights. If you have courage and guts, try LABD. Well, you know something right now, I wouldn't sell stocks short just quite yet, but if I'm thinking about it and Dr. Vic, Dr. Vic for you, um, how about this from a sell stock short or contra, well, uh, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. All right, let's go to my hot stocks. I got some hot stocks, but you know something? I don't know if I have a ton of them. It's only two with the market looking like it is right now. I do have a couple of hot stocks for you. I've got a search. If you want to see the search, if you want to see the search, I've got it for those people who are VectorVest subscribers called Hot Stock Alert, Cheap Stocks, Hot Stock Alert. Uh, I'm not going to stay on this very long, so take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. Relative timing greater than 1.25, relative value greater than 1.25, price greater than a dollar, but price less than $5. Average volume greater than 100,000 shares. Uh, and this is key. Stock price actual is greater than it was the one day stock price high. All right, so take a picture of this because I'm not gonna put this back up again. Take a screenshot. But this is the search that I use to find hot stocks. And it's done very well over time. It's something that I created for this for the YouTube channel. Notice it's in my YouTube searches. Notice it's in my YouTube searches. I've I love you guys to death that I've made a lot of searches just for YouTubers uh, who come to our channel. So it's another benefit for you to come into either the live streams, especially the live streams. Right? Especially the live streams. All right. So in that, um, here's a couple of stocks for you to take a look at. Uh, as far as hot stocks in the current markets conditions, you notice that there weren't a lot of stocks, but SNCR, all right, uh, SNCR is up. AI stock is up 132%. I know, Rick, we've made a lot of money. We've made a lot of money in that stock in our jockey club, all right, which is our day trading timing room, a, a day trading room, uh, which I will have next, uh, we'll have tomorrow and Friday. So I'll be in the jockey club hosting both tomorrow and Friday for those people 
or jockey clubbers. So SNCR, I do like that over the last month, bottom left, top right, a little bit of give back. Well, that makes sense with a day like today, the market is down, but look at the volume, the biggest volume day over the last month. I like to trade from a hot stock pick, but with uh, the current market's conditions, I'd be careful, all right? But man, the stock is moving, and I like this one because it's coming off of a, a level of support, the three and the eight just crossing, and it's one of, it, it, found, it was found in that search. I'd really like to see it take out the one month high of 381, but I wouldn't be afraid to get into it now, as long as the market is going up. On a down day, interesting that the stock is going up nicely on a down day. If you're gonna play a stock going against the market, please understand it's a very risky move. But from a hot stock perspective, using that search, it was found. All right, so um, fundamental picks. Let's go take a look. I got some fundamental picks for you as well. Um, here's my five fundamental picks. Look at that relative value, relative safety is all good. Uh, buy recommendations. Now there's another thing. Would I still buy all of these now if the market is going down? And the answer to your question is no. All right, but I'm going to put up a graph layout of why I like these as fundamental picks as the graph is coming up, 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 up. There's reasons why I can take these stocks from a long-term perspective and hold them graph layouts let's go down to my swings now i'm looking at a 20-day exponential moving average and i'm looking at um, value i love if i'm going to look at a stock longer term i'd like it to be undervalued i'd like the equity curve and i like that it's above the 20-day exponential moving average but given the current market's conditions what's going on the stock's price is starting to move sideways i love the earnings per share remember that's the engine that drives the stock's price higher so for those longer term plays, for those of you looking for stocks to say, man, you know, I'm not into this shorting or I'm really not into this contra. And you'll know what else these stocks do for the, oh, this one doesn't actually pay a dividend. That's interesting, but I do like the earnings per share. Here's another one. Semiconductor space is off and on, off and on. Another undervalued company above the 20 day exponential moving average. Love the earnings per share. Love the earnings per share. Let's go to the next one. Uh, SMCI also in the semiconductor space, coming off a level of support, breaking through a couple of levels of resistance, undervalued, earnings per share looks good. Next one, Decker Outdoors. This has been you know, on a lot of people's radar, but what I don't like about it right now, what I don't like about it right now is that it's below the 20 day exponential moving average. I do like the bottom left, the top right. I, but I don't like it's below the 20 day, especially if I'm trying to hold stocks longer term. I do like that it's undervalued. I do like the earnings per share. But when I'm trying to hold the stock longer term, especially if it, of the, if it pays a dividend or I can trade options on it, this is an early enough sign that when the stock's price jumps below the 20 day exponential moving average, I would think about taking profits on the stock. Semis overbought, Stephanie, you know something? It's a space that's rocking and rolling. One of the things that was talked about last night, and I don't want to get into the politics, was the infrastructure bill. Uh, and I don't know if they talked about it or not, but I think that the chip bill, I think that the chip bill is going to yield a lot of fruit, but it's going to take some time. So do I think that they're overbought right now, overextended? Yes and no. I still think that there's room for that space to grow, especially if we're aggressively trying to pull the chip, um, the, the pull the chip manufacturing out of China and back into the United States. All right, so that's what I, that's the way I look at it, Stephanie. Does that make sense? That's the way I look at it at this particular point in time. I think it does have some upside, um, but it's going to take time for that chip space to really go and rock and roll. My son works for ASML, uh, who's got a huge manufacturing uh, manu uh, ma uh, manufacturing plant in um, Arizona. He's been there, you know, for a while now almost ready to open up and they have the 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 collaboration with taiwan semi that's going to be big for the chip space it's going to be big for the chip space but the manufacturing the buildings are going to have to be built all that kind of stuff so i'm just putting that out there i'd be careful with decker because it's below the 20-day exponential moving average cmc nicely moving higher love the earnings per share undervalued all right, so these are good fundamental stocks that I want you to keep on your radar 
and just if you're going to buy into them, make sure you're buying into them on an up day. But also keep keep in mind what's going on in the market. Be careful buying them now. I be careful buying them now. But at least there's you know if something else you know uh, put them into a watch list for you. Um, here's picks from the stock viewer. This is the enormous spreadsheet of the over nine thousand stocks that we track. Uh, I just went through and looked at some of the best graphs for you. Uh, my idea is I want to try to give you as much stocks to look at as I can. So let's go put this on a three month as well. Look at that. Direct digital. Love the earnings per share. Love the moving up. It is very still undervalued above the 20 day. I like that. Another stock to put into your watch list. Look at the earnings per share on ARCB. Nicely undervalued, rising up. A transportation truck, another industry. Wow, here's another semiconductor. That's now three or four semiconductors I've given you uh, insight on. Look at the earnings per share on this. This is CRUS above the 20 day, undervalued. Man, the semi space, whether it's overboard or not, is a space that's on the rise. It is definitely a space that is on the rise. All right. Um, and let's go real quick. URI uh, leveling out, but undervalued above the 20 day. Love the earnings. And look at the bump up in dividend. Bump up in dividend uh, on that one as well. And SMCR coming off a level of support, not bottom left to top right, but starting to move up above the 20 day. Uh, watch the earnings per share, and it is undervalued. All right, so now let's go to some stocks to sell short. I'm going to go to the unit search tool. That wasn't part of what I was going to look for, Dr. Vic, but I'm going to help you out. Uh, one of the best searches that we have in this system, searches short, searches short, where is it? Vern's Vulture is one of my, one of my favorite searches in the downside, but I like this one that it puts more on it down five days, down five days in a row, that helps to make sure that I'm looking to short a stock that's not only meeting the criteria, it's got to be greater than $10. All right, uh, average volume greater than 100,000, relative value less than 0.75. These stocks do not have good upside potential. They're already not favorable stocks. Uh, shares traded greater than zero uh, and relative timing is lower for five days in a row. So these are, it's one of my favorite searches to find stocks to sell short. Let's graph, I'm gonna give you a few, all right? I'm gonna give you a few to keep your eyes on going one month. I'm not ready for this one yet, you know something? If I'm looking, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna trade this out to trade. There we go. I wouldn't take this one just quite yet. It's in a channel. I'd really look for something that's going down. All right, I'd look for something that's going down, that's moving sideways, all right? That's starting to move down, all right? That's MRCY, $54. Guess what? Most likely it's gonna fade this gap, all right? It's already started to fade the gap. The three and the eight are converging. What else? Oof, there's another one. CCOI coming off this high, one, two, three, four, five straight days, three, eight cross. This may have some big downside to keep in mind, all right? This may be, this may have some big downside to keep in mind. Same thing with Cross, look at that. Uh, puke, can I say that? Uh, that's moving down, I'd, I'd like the other ones better. No, not as much. Now, I do like it if I'm trying to find something to short when the three and the eight first cross down, I like that, that catches my attention. That definitely catches my attention. So Dr. Vic, how about that? There's some suggestions, not that one probably. I like that one, Nike. Look at that. All right, so Dr. Vic, at least you got some uh, stocks that you could consider to sell short by way of the VectorVest system. I didn't make these up. I didn't even look at news on these. I use the search in the system called uh, Vern's Volters Down Five Days. I like it. It's one of my favorite searches to find stocks to sell short. Now, there's another side of this. I would definitely, let's go to Trending Thursday. Where's that at? Uh, my old Trending Thursday. Let's go to Contra ETFs. I do like Contras. Don't I have Contras? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I wouldn't have that in here. 
Um, fine. Let's do this a different way. Let's go to industry viewer. I don't want that either. Go back to watch list viewer. Let's go back to watch list viewer and go to the ETF viewer, Dr. Vic. That's another way to go. I mean, if you're looking for uh, countries to take a look at, uh, I like the whole ETF viewer. You can sort this by uh, RT. And if the time is right, if the time is right, you can start to find uh, the, which countries are there. Notice that, be careful with countries. You know why I'm saying be careful with countries? What's still the hot moving ETFs in here? Right now, still long. Does that make sense to everybody out there? Type a yes or a no. Does that make sense to everybody out there? So if I go look at the ETF viewer, if I go to the ETF viewer and I sort by RT, which is still the fastest moving ETFs right now? Right now, they're still bullish ETFs. All right. So let's go to the unit search tool. Let's go to the unit search tool. We have another folder for ETFs, buying contra ETFs. Dr. Vic, this is where I would go. Now this is specifically for contra ETFs, all right? And I could see which contras on, which are the ones that are on the rise from a contra perspective. There's Fang D, there's Sox S, Hibs. There you are, here they all are. Um, but once I looked at the listing of ETFs as a whole and I sorted it by relative timing, I could tell that the bullish ETFs were still there. So if I'm going to buy into contras right now, I have to understand that I'm going ahead of the curve a little faster. If I graph these, all right, what would I be looking for to find the best contras to take a look at? I go to one month. What I'm looking for is the three and the eight to cross. Let's go see if I can find any three, eight crosses on any of these contras right now. All right. Um, my computer wants to act silly. Oh, no, no, no. So Dr. Vic, you see, wow. Now I've got one. I've got a contra. I've got a contra that's got a three, eight cross. Bingo. There's a contra that you can take advantage of. What else? Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Now, as the, ooh, SRTY getting close, A TZA. How about LABD? Bingo. All right, so this is a good way to make sure that you've got some confirmation of which contrast you're going to get into. Was that helpful to everybody out there who's thinking about getting into contra ETFs, type a, one, uh, type a yes or a no. Was that helpful? Because I know that there's a lot of you who are thinking about which contras you wanna get into. And right now, I think that this is a simple, easy way to make sure that you're jumping on the right contras during this time. If the uh, primary wave is down and we get more confirmation of it, I think that this is a beautiful way to make sure that you're in contras that confirm that they are moving in the direction you want. That's an easy way. Folks, I'm here to do the work for you. You hear us say that a lot. We do the work, you guys reap the rewards. So Dr. Vic brought up a good question about stocks to sell short. I wasn't gonna talk about that today, but able to very quickly point you in the direction of which stocks to take a look at. And then with that, why not look at contras? Now, a couple of people have said um, buy puts. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. But not everybody in this room is ready to, to, to buy puts yet. So it takes me back to this. You want uh, to learn more about buying puts or understanding how they all work? Remember, go to the link that Joey put in there for the options jump starter course. You want to learn more about the idea of the terminologies and understanding the difference between calls and puts. Again, Joey put that out there uh, and sign up for it. It's a free webcast, folks. It's a free webcast uh, and it's a great tool to have in your tool belt going forward. All right, what else do I got? Uh, I'm fine. I'm good to go for the day. I, you know, I'm good to go. There was nothing else specifically, super specific. I'm good. I'm good.
Folks, this is what it's all about. This is what we do. Every live stream, it's all about you and making sure that you guys are prepared, whether the market is bullish, whether the market is bearish. We give you some ideas of some stocks to take a look at, whether they are bullish or whether they are bearish. But the biggest thing is information. What's going on in the market? What news is driving the market? What stocks are being talked about? And let the VectorVest system do the work to help you determine well, I hear the news, but what's the stock doing? That's what it's all about. Uh, Drew says the Unisearch tool is awesome. And that's what it's about. For all you guys who are not subscribers to the VectorVest system, 99 cents gets you access to the VectorVest software for 30 days. For those of you who like the commentary that we get here, that we give here, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. And most of all, if you liked what you saw here today, if it was if it was well worth your time to be here, hit that like button. Let us know. All right, let us know, especially to the people who are new to the channel today. Glenn, what is another search you like for shorts if you still have time to respond? Um, look at Doug's Downers. Doug's Downers is another good search, but I really like Vern's Vultures. All right, we will make this viral. I would love for you to make this viral. So as I sign off, I'm going to put my cowboy bat hat back on because of uh, Western Wednesday. Remember, hashtag Western Wednesday VV. Let's get that to go viral. Let's get that to go viral. May your longs go up and your shorts go down. Thank you for that, Rick. Who's Vern? He's the guy. Who's, what, short, what's, what movie was that? Hey, Vern. With the Bigfoot. Anybody, anybody remember what movie that was? Hey, Vern. But the guy was like, hey, Vern. Anybody know? Was it something in the Boston? Boston. Um, Ernest. I know, but what was the movie? Wasn't it a movie? It was the Ernest movies. Okay. Edward says, in addition to EPS, should we look at GRT simultaneously to decide a stock to invest in? No, I'm all about earnings growth. Why, Edward? Because earnings is the engine that drives a stock's price higher. So if that's the case, then I think you would pay attention to earnings growth as well. There's so many things that you can look for, Edward, and I love the idea of the questions that you're asking. But the first thing you need to know is the type of investor you are, because if you know the type of investor you are, you know the types of stocks that you're looking for. Because then by the way of uh, by what stocks you're looking for, you can adjust the system to look for those stocks. If you're looking for longer term plays that just continue to go up for the most part or can hold their own in a downtrend, then you're looking at earnings growth. You're looking at earnings per share. You're looking at relative value. But I may not have to look at all of those indicators if I am more of an aggressive player. So it all depends. It all depends on the type of investor you want to be. Glenn is a Cowboys fan. I'm not anywhere near a Cowboys fan. That's funny right there. I'm a Giants fan, straight up, to the day I die. All right. Uh, Kenneth said, thanks for a great chat this afternoon. This is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all It's all about you. It's all about you. So with that, folks, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting... Um, Western Wednesday, you know me, I try to get 100 likes before we leave. We're not quite there today. Maybe I wasn't as charismatic today. That's all right. It's still Western Wednesday. It's still Western Wednesday. And um, thank you for supporting that. With that, um, I've got a live stream tomorrow. Uh, don't forget 2 p.m. tomorrow. We've got uh, trending Thursday. And again, Badger is right. I will be in the jockey club, our live day trading room tomorrow from nine to 10 30, as well as on Friday, folks, we are done for the day. Thank you again for being here. Uh, as I always sign off, uh, don't forget <coughs> if you go to the vector vest store, you want to save an extra 5%, use the promo code Glenn with two ends, G L E N N 23 get you another 5% off. See, that's one of those times where you say, just drop my name, they'll take care of you. Well, if you use my code, we'll take care of you. An extra 5% on the store. All right, with that, folks, adios, arrivederci, ciao, au revoir, sayonara, aloha to all my peeps in Hawaii. Bom dia, salam, shalom, namaste, yasu. Later,